What's going on there, fellow YouTubers? It's Chris from the Mars Anomalies channel. All right, guys. Decided to check into India, see if they had anything new going on. Uh, and, of course, you go to their main site. Still the same f four photos. Nothing exciting. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, it's got me and a bunch of other people, like, saying, what's going on? What's up? So, anyway, I find this uh, their page on Facebook. And, lo and behold, they have another f photo. Um, let me see if I can find this one first. Okay. So here's the photo they've got, and of course, somehow it slipped by because it was in October 8th, 2014. They've got the newest one here. Okay. Um, yeah, oh my God. It's crazy because if you look under here, it's 197, you know, uh, comments and stuff like that. Now, don't get me wrong. I got to say from the bottom of my heart, kudos to India. You know, it's not an easy task to get this thing up there. Um, I, they feel good about their country, and they should. I mean, it's an achievement. Um but just like India, I wish, well, just like India as well as NASA, and we all know they're hand in hand, even though they just made it, uh, you know, basically legit, so to speak, uh, that they've signed saying we're working together. They've been working together for years, uh, no matter what anybody says. Um, and because you can look back and you see they've been working hand in hand pretty much. Uh, they just made it official lately. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, so I'm looking at this picture and I'm going, wow. Um I can just look at this picture and see nothing but major fudging. And for good reason. And now, there's, there's another cool little video here. I don't know if you guys have seen this, but check this out. Um, and it shows right there, you can see Phobos. They put on there, you know, uh, you know, let's say, ooh, what's that flying by? Oh, it's just Phobos kind of thing. But it's pretty cool how they show that. But you notice how they don't show the whole planet. You know, it's it, you can just see it. It's just kind of a few frames just going across and that's pretty much it um then they put the i don't know if they changed their they changed it to their cover photo i think um but here it is anyway nonetheless um this is what's funny a lot of people say you know why the big interest uh in mars and i've been questioning that for the longest time what's funny about this i don't know if all you guys knew this but check this out when you check this crap out 42 attempts now what i mean by attempts is two things one that missions have been completed or are currently working or still going on, and the ones that failed. 42. This involves Russia, Ukraine, India, and I think Japan. I mean, you could just look at it. Uh, ESA. I mean, they're all going up there either using landers. I mean, you can look over here. You've got uh, Rover Spirit and Opportunity. This was in 2004 that they landed. They were launched in 2003, but you know uh, made it to Mars in 2004. And then you've got the uh, the MSL, which is Curiosity, the or the Mars Science Laboratory, uh, 2011, and of course it made it to it in 2012. Um, they've got the MOM, which is India's. Uh, again, props to them. And you've got Maven. But the problem is they got the same thing that NASA is doing. They're lying to the people. And, and I just, you know, and, and then you, here's the other thing. Let me backtrack just to here. Why all these missions to Mars to a dead planet? What's the point? Well, we're just trying to see if there's any life on it. Um, I think they discovered that a long, long time ago. And for them to say they're still looking for water on Mars, hell, they done this in the 70s with the Viking landers one and two. Come on, man. It's a crock. It's an absolute crock. They seen something on this planet and just said, oh, my God, we got to get a piece of this. We got to have a look. So, yeah. Um... You know, you guys will get this picture up there, so you can actually eyeball these different uh, missions and stuff. And a lot of them failed. Um, like the one in Japan, it said it was in July 4th, 1998, and missed the planet. So they're all going up there for a reason. And, and if you noticed, 90% of them are what? They're orbiters. They just want to get a picture, man. They just want to get a glance of what the hell is going on on this, on this planet. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, they're not doing this for no reason. They're not spending hard-earned money. Just to, you know, hey, let's just go throw it up near, near a rock that we know is dead and barren. What the hell? We don't care. No, come on. There has to be. Nobody's going to spend that kind of money and put that kind of effort behind a mission just to say, well, you know, NASA says it's cold and barren and everything else. This, they seen something. They're all in this, you know, uh, you know, they're, they're all together. They're cooperating some way, somehow. They're all know what's going on. They're just saying, shh, mum's the word. Um, some people say no, but... I'm seeing 42 missions here, whether failed or, or completed or still going on, and I just don't see the logic in all of this money being spent and all of this effort to get there for simply nothing. Okay, let's move on, because I want to show you this. This is their picture, and I just see just garbage, 
But I've also seen a couple other things that stand out of their garbage, and I'm going to show you that. First of all, let's get to, let's get rid of this goofy color, and let's come up with some, you know, the real colors. But look at it right here on the left-hand side. See how it's really, really blurred out. I mean, really badly blurred out. And you can see, like, you can, even the background here is just goofy. But um, you can just see right here it's been manipulated. I'm going to show you that right now. But let's let's get the real color here. And when I say real color, it's one thing you can tell a CGI in this too. So it's not real color per se, but just by doing simple adjustments on this thing, and this is what I come up with. Um, I didn't add anything to it. I didn't subtract anything to it. But okay, so I'm going to brighten this up a little bit more. So what I did was to try to see if there's anything of any value in this picture. Um, I did see this right here. Look at this. This is pretty cool. Look at this way. This it looks like it's above the ground. See that? Kind of weird. I thought that was kind of strange. So, let me go into the black plate. So, let's get rid of all the color. Well, let's do it this way. Now, this is going to become very bright until I get back into this. Okay. So, now, I've got one simple question. Just one. Um, let's do this. And let's zoom in. Please tell me what the hell this is. What is that? Now, I understand Mars is actually smaller than Earth, so on and so forth. And we've been seeing structures on here. We've been seeing all kinds of crazy things on Mars. What the hell is that? It looks like, you can see what looks like structures uh, all over here. Check this out. It's high off the ground. Looks like it's got some weird piping or some kind of tubing. Look at this. What the hell does that perfectly straight? And it keeps going on, guys. This is just manipulated. Um, it looks like there's something else here. But when I say something else, I mean many things else. You know, uh, people say, well, this has to be incredibly large. Yes and no. And what I mean by that is like this may be just a wall around a huge city. And I mean huge city. I'm not saying this is one big structure because that would be immensely large. But look at this like like this feature here. Let me zoom in just a hair bit more. And you can see this thing has some height to it. It's actually coming off the ground. But what the hell does this? See how like it, it's kind of like rounded here, but has these rectangle slots, so to speak. And it has like this rounded piece in the front. It comes down, and it has, again, a slot. But there's also many things standing up out of this. Let me just back out just a hair bit. I don't want it to be too grainy. Okay. So I'm thinking to myself, what the hell does this? I'm trying to figure out what does this perfect line has this nice thick area, has this corner, comes way, way down, has these other, looks like structures or something faintly sticking up. Um, and it continues on, guys. This thing is, whatever this is, they clouded the hell out of all of this right here. But there's something going like this all around here. Now, now let's go into, uh, let me see if I can find this first because I don't remember if I did this. All right, you're going to also see things here. Check this out. All of these little things down in here, and it has lines that look like roads and, you know, all these little structures and whatnot. When I say little, they're fairly large, these big ones. But you're going to see this a little bit better. All of this has been completely blacked out. And you can still see what looks like round structures or some kind of things in this darkness. And this is no different. Remember the Google Plus I just, I mean, not the Google Plus, but the Google, Google Earth I just showed you guys. How they use this blackness or gray to cover up what's really there. Um, really bizarre stuff here. It looks like this pipe sticking right out of the ground. This would have to be because this is an aerial view. Um, and you can see with all of this stuff right here very vaguely. Okay, so let's jump back out of this. And again, I would love to have them tell me what the hell this is. And of course, uh, you know, you guys can weigh in and tell me what you think because I'm looking at this and I'm just going, whoa. And this is, like I said, this is one of the newest pictures of Mars. Yet, this is right there, right in your face. Um, okay, let's switch to the grayscale, which I can, let me go back to the regular color. Full color. Yeah, talk about the red planet, right? Um, that just does that because I'm in the, I was in the black scale and now it's just throwing it back into color. But anyway, so you can see right here, you can see these little separations right here. You can see what looks like this huge structure, but here's the crazy part. It doesn't stop here. It continues on. And you see one, two, there's other things right here. Something white connecting to this. But you can see things coming down. Over to here, over here. I mean, come on, guys. All right. So what I did was I, let me see if this will work. 
highlighted this area right here and you can see this right here now it's a little bit brighter but you can see where they clouded this over to hide whatever the hell this is is probably part of this but what i do is i try to go a little whiter here to show you guys that this thing does continue on so whatever's being clouded out of here come on man this is huge now i'm not saying this is one big structure i'm saying this may be walls and you can see something right here i don't know if you guys can see that but right here i don't know if i'll be able to looks like one big side of a wall type thing i don't know if you guys can see that but see that but what the hell does this this looks like either separate structures kind of thing going on or i mean it just looks too much like a you know people say well maybe it's a mountain is that possible sure but that's really a funky looking mountain to be doing what it's doing here Oops, kind of went into where I didn't want to go. But anyway, you get the idea, and you can see, like, these weird rectangle openings. This one kind of goes off like this here. Into the front of this thing, and it looks like it's rounded in the front. You've also got this, like I said, this weird piping. Or tube, transportation tube. Could be anything. I don't know what the hell this is, but what is that? Nothing I know, especially this lodge on a planet, could be doing this. And this thing does continue, guys. It does actually continue into this area. You've got, looks like a separation here. It does this. Then you've got another piece here. And you've got a bunch of what looks like things along the way here. Another line on the side of it. A line of what? I couldn't tell you. Look at this. There's something right here. I don't know, guys. What this stuff is. I mean, you can see this stuff faintly in the background here. There's a ton of stuff in here. You're just not going to see it. It's as simple as that. What does that? It simply makes no sense. Okay. Now, I don't know if I did it this way. You can see this object sitting right here. And there's tons more. Look at this. Look at the way these things, these ground shapes are. And there's all kinds of these weird little structures and all kinds of little things all in this whole area. And, of course, this is being covered up, so it's hard to see it. All this area here, if you take a good look at it in here, look at this. All in here. All in here as well. And, again, they're using this dark grayish crap to make it kind of blend, if you will, and make it look like, oh, it's probably just dark mountainous areas. Uh, I'm not believing that crap for a minute. I I'm just not. There's too much in here. When you zoom into this, you can just see this. there's so much in here. Look at these little... Whatever they are. When I say little, they're probably humongous. There's things in here that... And you can see they're inside. You can see lines, straight lines inside this, this whited out area. This is actually being blocked. Now, let me just see for the heck of it. Why not just try it? Let's do a little burn here or some highlight. Bring it down a bit. Uh, let's see if we can bring anything out of that. Just for the hell of it. Alright, let me see. Let me go to this one here so we can bring it down just a hair bit. Let's see if we can't bring that down just a little bit. If you bring this this brightness down, look, you can start to see other details popping out of this. What does that, guys? So that's telling you... Look, at there's something actually round right there. You can see it right there. There's like a round base to it. They're doing this stuff for a reason. They're clouding this stuff over so you and I cannot see it. And then here it is. And I'm doing this on the fly just for the hell of it. And you can see now there's multiple things sitting here. Just bring it down. You can see where they literally, there's a line right here where you can see that they actually just blurred it over, just went over it real quick. Yeah, I mean, so if you really want to, you can say, okay, let's throw a little shadow into there, see if we can figure out anything in here. Because that will bring out the lines. And you can see these lines right here are continuing into this brighter area. Why would it do that? If this is nothing more than just natural. There's a reason for it, and they're hiding it. So like I said, I mean, here you go. Look at this. This, this whatever this is, is continuing on into this area. But again, by showing different things like shadowing and brightness you do half an object that's bright and half that's dark what happens it throws your eyes off you can't see the whole structure anomaly whatever it may be heck you can do it to a regular mountain and you wouldn't know the difference um and i believe there's a lot there 
and you can see a whole lot like straight lines and, and objects sitting right here. You can see like, look at one, two, three, four, five. Now these might be just a real large objects and not the smaller ones. And this is the reason why you cannot see them. Um, you, I tried to lighten it up in here and they just did a great job of really messing this thing up. This object right here, whatever it is, it literally goes like this. Looks like it does this. Oh, cut into it a little bit too much there. My bad. Kind of looks like it has a point to it. There's something on top of it. I don't know if it's round, square, or whatever, but look at this. It goes off to the side. You see that? It goes off to the side. Nothing should be doing that. So, you know, and like I said, there's many more things in here. Just look at the land masses in here that's being covered up. And the more you work on this, this bright area, because I just wanted to see what the hell this was. This is what I was more concerned about. Um, this right here looks like it's been covered. Um, and like I said, I'll give you guys the opportunity to check this stuff out yourself. But check that out. What the hell does that? And you can see it's above and there's something underneath that. Are they throwing this stuff in here just for craps and giggles? I mean, guys, what's, what's going on here? And again, this continues over to here. And let me see something here real quick. We'll do the same thing here. I've actually brought this down already. Because you can see it's not as bright as the other areas. And you can actually bring this stuff down to where you might be able to pull out an object or two. I mean, come on. There's things clearly in here, and they're messing with the people. I went a little too much over that, a little overboard, but you get the idea. I'm just trying to, well, let me do it this way instead. Work out a lot better. You can see it actually has a definitive like thing, like this may actually go to here. It might actually go like down like this and over to it. Well then, if that's true, I'm just guessing, of course. But if that is one large area, I'm not going to say structure, because I don't believe it's one big structure at all. Um, I believe this is something a lot larger, like a, like a, like an enclosed city, so to speak, or a huge structure. I don't know. I wish, I, I you know, I hope the uh, uh, India Space Research Organization, or the ISRO, lets us know what that is, because uh, I'd be real curious. I really would. And you got these other little objects just peeking out. These here, these here. I think there's a lot more going on in this planet. And every time we turn around, it's being more and more confirmed. Um, you guys give me your take on it. This one won't be a long one. Um, and you give me your take on it. Tell me what you think this stuff is. Because uh, I, I honestly don't know. They appear to be large structures. You're not going to see a shape like that just on nature. Look at that. That's almost perfect. That is just, uh, that's just crazy. See that, the way that runs out like this? Yeah, that's just, there's just no way. You know, it, it's just not going to happen. Let me do it this back this way. Okay, there we go. And like I said, I think there's, there's something huge here. It's uh, maybe really, really large structures surrounded by, there's probably tons of them in the middle of this. We don't know. But the fact of the matter is, it's actually there. I want to go back to the normal full color of the CMYK. You can still see this object. Whatever it is, it's sticking up here, going down. Nice long lines. This is right in the middle of it. And of course, you got compression marks because that's what they want. They want it to fool your eyes and be really, you know, but I can do this. Just put a little blur into it. And I can get rid of some of that. Well, heck, I can even do it even more than that if I really wanted to. Let's go a little more blur. I just use a regular field blur. Now, even though this will blur the heck out of the picture, it will still give you... It'll take See how it took out some of the compression marks? And that's what you want because you want to see the whole object. And you can see that as clear as a bell. I mean, this thing's sticking up. There's something in the middle. Is Yeah. Investigate the picture yourselves, guys. And just tell me what you think. But check this out. I thought this is pretty cool, too. What the hell? Look at this. How it looks like it's off the ground. See that? And what does it look like that's near it? A bunch of structures. These are clearly not craters. There's too many of them in a row. 
and there's a bunch of them there. Look at this. What the hell does that? Well, let's do it this way. Well, we can do it with the blue. That's fine. Right there. And you got all of these little tiny structures. Well, they might be quite large. And you can see with all the, all the little stuff in between them. And check this out. I don't know if you guys can see this, but right here. Now let's do it with the, the blur. Right here, this going across, down, and this looks like there's these rectangular things inside here. And if you look, you can see that pretty clear. Well, within reason. See it? But it's off the ground, and you can see a ton of stuff in here. Look at it all. These are not craters. I can almost promise you not. Look at this. This thing blows my mind. I don't know if they're calling this a mountain or a crater, but it's completely flat on one side. Goes nice and round, almost like an egg. And it looks like it has a dome instead of anything else. So, I don't know. You guys, give me your take on it. Let me know what you guys think. I'd be curious to see what you guys think about this because, yeah, it's... I'm glad they're putting these pictures out. They may be doing it purposely to slip them out once in a while. Or they're just really not good at, you know, like NASA is, really taking these things out of the pictures. I don't know which one it is. Couldn't tell you. But, um, and just to show you guys, this thing is still in the picture, no matter what. It's still in there, no matter how you slice it and dice it. Um, right there. I went a little overboard on that. You can still see it in there, and you can see this other lodge, whatever the heck this thing is, right here, we'll just circle it. Um, you see this thing coming up, and you can see very, very blurred out, you can actually see it. Why? This is, I just find it hard to believe that these guys have orbiters out there. I don't care what country they're sending orbiters out there. They just, they just can't happen to get a clear picture. They have, you know... Uh, technology that can see out into all the nebulas in the, in the universe, but yet they can't see clearly on a planet. Yeah, I'm not buying that crap. Um, but anyway, guys, just want to bring that to you. It's probably one of the latest pictures they had, and I, I just stumbled on it. I was like, oh, well, that's pretty unique. Uh, didn't know they had another one out. But nonetheless, they do. And hopefully somebody can answer that, what the hell this is, and why do this, these little things here. And you can see that pretty darn good right there branching off as well as all of these other things in here i think they're on a multi-level the way they build they're probably underground as well as overground um i believe there's just a whole lot going on in this picture and what's going on in this planet that meets the eye and again these guys are not going to this planet just because hey there's nothing but just rock there and dust um, you know, don't get me wrong, I know the curiosity, meaning uh, the, the curiosity of the, of the people, they want to know what's there, hey, what the heck, you know, all the countries are there doing it, why not take a look too? Sure, I'm okay with that, and I love everything about space exploration, I'm glad that they're wanting to see it, but come on, man, tell the public the truth. I mean, really, tell the public the truth. Um, look at this thing, I don't know what that is running all along that distance there, but is it possible it's some kind of mountain range? I, I don't know, because it has this round dot or whatever that is. I just noticed this, too. The heck is that? Let me see if we can brighten that up a little bit. Right here, these two things right here. See it right here? There's something hidden right in here. Looks like you can see some other visible stuff in there. But anyway, that might be just manipulation, because a lot of this is manipulated. In fact, I'm going to show you guys something right here. See if we can go into the... <laughs> I mean, this information, you can see it's completely blurred. Look at it. All completely blurred out. They don't want you to see. You can see like at the top where that other piece is. Or well, this lodge, whatever this is up here. Some of it's peeking through. This is the reason why we can extract it. And this is the reason why I see it see right there. You can just see that a little bit. That little piece will look like a pipe going into this other. See how it's completely blurred out? So you have to cut through this manipulation in order to see this. This is the reason why. And a lot of people, oh, how come you don't, you, you never see anything really clear? Well, you're not going to. Now... This one here on on the magenta plate, you can see pretty decent, but you can see where it's being blurred. Here, at the end of this, and a lot of this is being peeked through, and you can see it. So that's why we can actually pull some of this stuff out. This in here, this is not too bad of a plate where you can see different colors. 
and you can see what looks like some of these objects you can see. Here's that other little object. Right there. Looks like it's something round on a giant... Well, there's actually a stitch right here. I just noticed that right there. That's why it's cutting this piece off. But you can see something branching off and it's blurred out. Why would they blur anything? There's nothing on this planet, right? Okay. And you can see where they've... Look at this. Look at it all the way around this. Okay. Going to the yellow plate. Pfft. Complete crap. Everything blacked out. Now, again, you can still bring out some of this. This is the reason why I was able to bring some of it out. Because if there's no information at all, I wouldn't have brought that out at all. But there's different ways of popping this stuff out. Here's that little object again. And you can see it branching off. So, yeah. I mean, here's all that other stuff on the left-hand side. It looks like a bunch of, you can see like other, well, there's compression marks in there too, so it's kind of throwing the eye off. But you guys get the idea. You can see what looks like other structures in here. Look at this, something way up in here. Yeah. And let's go to the black plate. You should see things nice and clear. Oh, completely whited out. Imagine that. Um, because this is being manipulated. And this is all, you can see how this is completely blurred out. They're making it look like this is a darker part of the planet when in fact, yeah. You can see where they like went over like this, like half the, the crater here. Half of it's normal and half of it's whited out. So anyway, guys, give me your take on it. And tell me what you think. Look at this. More right here. One, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bunch of stuff scattered in here. Here's that pot where it looks like it's raised off the ground. And you can see like a bunch of little things here. But I'll let you. I'll give you guys the pictures. You know that I've already got them saved. I'm gonna throw them up on Google Plus. You guys can again, as usual, dissect them yourselves. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, if you'd rather have me alter this and turn this around like this, so you can better see it, or do you want me to leave it like this? All the photos. Let me know. If you want both, let me know. Um, I could do either or. But just let me know what you guys think. Let me return this back to normal colors. Well, that's their normal colors. And there you go. All right, guys. Again, not going to take up too much of your time. I will also leave this one here uh, up there on Google+. Plus. So you guys can see this. I mean, people just don't realize how many missions were to Mars, whether it be failed or not. It, the point is their attempts, or they have been attempted and have been done. What's the bum rush? What's, what's up with that? If everybody went by NASA's word and saying, hey, you know, dried up piece of crap planet, eh, maybe, a little, maybe a little moisture underneath the soil, then they go, oh, hell, well, ain't nothing there to see. They're seeing something. They're, they're sharing this information amongst themselves, and that's why you just got people spending billions of dollars. I don't care what country it is. If they're up there, they're trying to get up there, there's a reason for it. At least that's my theory. That's just my opinion. I'm not saying anybody else has to share it, but you know as well as I do, it's like yourself. You're not going to go out and spend hundred and money on anything, because it won't be millions and millions of dollars or billions of dollars on a full project, but you get what I'm saying. You're not going to go out and get it unless there's something in it for you or something that's useful. It's as simple as that. Nobody does that. Nobody just blows money unless they got more money than brains. Um, yeah. So anyway, guys, again, give me your take. Look for these photos up on Google+. Plus. Share the video. Uh, give me some thumbs up. Let me know you're on board. Uh, give me your comments. As always, first and foremost, I want to hear your comments and tell me you know, what you guys got to say and what you've seen in these pictures, uh, the photos yourself. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciate it. Have a great weekend, and we'll talk to you next picture.